hello guys welcome to wix ideas in this video i'm going to show you how you can add a gradient text into your wix website that looks exactly like this one now this is a very very simple tutorial and i'm going to make it as simple as much as possible as it requires a little bit of html and css coding now before we get started don't forget to smash that subscribe button and also give these videos a thumbs up most importantly don't forget to turn on your bell notification to be the first to know of amazing videos like this all right so now let's jump into the editor now in this editor you can see we have a plain text element that says the feature of digital marketing and what i want to do is to remove text element and i want to replace it with a beautiful gradient text such as this one now in order to achieve this we need to add a very important element which is called the wix html component now to add that go over to your ad here and then go all the way to embed code now you're going to go ahead and embed this html and click on the add to sites now once you do that it's going to allow you to add a couple lines of html code that you can use on your website all right so right here you can see we have a very short html and css code that we're going to add into our component i've gone ahead to style this to the best way possible so that it's easy for you to go ahead and tweak things around the way you want them to be and what i want to do is to first of all show you how this code works so i'm going to go ahead and copy this code first of all and then i'm going to go over to the html settings here and inside of the code make sure the code is selected and add your code here you're going to paste in your code and once you're done go ahead and update your code now once you do that you can see that the code has been embedded and all you need to do is to drag it onto the section that the last text element was and then you can stretch this across your page and also make sure to drag it or stretch it down so that it shows all the elements there now you can also go ahead and you know stretch it across so that it shows the two lines of the items and make sure those scrolling bars are removed so right now you have a working gradient text in your wix website and let me tell you how easy this is you can go ahead and change what this says it can be anything that you want to so for example i want to change this and say wix ideas and then updates now once you do that it's going to add the text onto my page so this is how easy it is for you to actually go ahead and add a gradient text into your wix website now most importantly i'm going to show you how this works what you need to change to make this yours how you can customize it to your brand and so on now coming back to the gradient text html code the three parts that you need to look out over here are the gradient text here which as you can see it starts over here and ends here then we have the container part which starts here and ends here and then finally we have the text itself which you can name anything or add any kind of text that you want now first of all is the gradient text the gradient text is simply a style that we're trying to make our item look so this is where the gradient is created the first thing you can see is the background which is the linear gradient and then inside of the linear gradient you can see we have 244 degrees we have a color we have the opacity of the color we have another color and then we also have the opacity of that color now inside of this this degree is the direction at which you want your gradient to flow looking at this you can see how the gradient flows all the way to the other side and kind of fades off a little bit into a different color now you can change this to any kind of color that you want now back to the code in order for you to change this you simply need to change the kind of color you have for your brand now since i'm using visual studio i can easily just change the kind of color that i want this to be so just dragging from here i can choose any kind of color that i want it's going to change the hex code and then from here it's also going to i can also go ahead and change the opacity of this color that i just added and then next as you can see we have something called a webkit background clip so this is just telling us that we are trying to create a clip around the text so we're adding a background which is a gradient and then we're trying to clip the background onto a text element and then the next one as you can see is the webkit text fill color so this is the color of the text so the text is a transparent one while the background is a gradient one so what we actually see on the gradient text is the background of the text it's not really the text color and then next is the font family so this is where you choose 
the kind of fonts you're using on your website you want the font to be similar to what you're using on your website so that your site visitors know that you have a consistent flow in design and the next one is the font size so this is how big or how small your fonts look like and then next we have the font weight the font weight is how heavy or how bold or how light that your font looks like so if you want it to be a normal font you can just reduce this to 400 if you want it to be much heavier than that you can just make it to be 800 or 900 but i'm gonna leave mine at 600 and the line height is the distance that you have between this one here and the one on top so uh, for me i think this line uh, height is fine but if you want it to be shorter you want to bring it closer to the other one then you can go ahead and reduce the size and the next one which is the final part of the gradient textile is the letter spacing so the letter spacing is the distance between the letters so we have the letters are how wide or how much they extend horizontally and the line height is how they separate vertically all right so let's go ahead and check out the container style the container style is what makes it easier for us to be able to make this to fit in properly inside of the html component so as you can see the width is set to 100 percent the height is also set to 100 percent the overflow is auto and the final part of the container style is the text alignment so if you want your text to be line to the left to the middle or to the right then this is where you change that and finally we have the text all right so all of these styles are classes and they can now be applied onto our text so as you can see we have the h1 text which the class that we are calling for this is the gradient text and we are applying it to our text here so this is where you change the wordings of your html content if you want to change uh to something else then this is where you can do that so let's go back onto our page let's publish our site and then let's take a look at how this looks on the live website all right so now we can see how this looks very beautiful and your site visitors can have a feel of how this really looks amazing and stands out on your website now you can see that the colors that i chose are very similar to what this website looks like so that the flow is the same and it looks amazing so you can choose the colors on your brand to make it stand out to make it unique and clean and consistent across your website now this is how you add a simple gradient text into your wix website i hope this tutorial was very helpful do let me know on the comment section if you made use of this feature and also if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section also let me know in my socials you can reach me on almost everywhere at wix ideas so thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to smash that subscribe button leave a like and also turn on your bell notification to be amazed our future videos thank you very much and see you in the next tutorial